What's good? I'm currently wearing my Jedi robe. May the force be with you. But anyway, a lot of you guys have asked what equipment I use and how I film my videos and more importantly, the biggest question was how do I get that kind of like that flat lay angle? Well, today I'm gonna show you. So, let's get started. I don't know why I just did that. Okay. Okay, so this is my makeup vanity station and this is where I film all of my makeup tutorials, pretty much. Um, so this mirror, I think, is by Hollywood Girl or something like that, I don't really remember, but my brother actually bought this for me like four years ago. It was a gift, um, I think for Christmas or something like that. But yeah, that is from my brother. And the cool thing about this is, you know, the light turns on and it has a little slider right here so you can change the intensity of the lights. So this is what I use as lighting um, for some of my makeup tutorials. Now I also have this mirror. Uh, this is a mirror by Vanity Planet. And okay, let me just explain something real quick. So first of all, I fold up my tripod so it's at its shortest length and I put it right in front of the mirror because if I put it like to the side, it's going to block the light. So I literally have to put it right in front of my mirror. But because I can't see my makeup, like I can't see my face, like I can't see what I'm doing, I have to use another mirror. So I use this mirror like on the side, either right here or right here, it really depends. But I have this on the side, you know, so I can see myself while I'm doing my makeup. And the cool thing that I like about this one is because on this side, you know, you have like your standard like regular mirror, but on the other side, it's magnified times seven. This is a horrible... This is really cool. I like having a magnified side because when I'm doing things like um, eyeliner or like eyelashes or something like that, I have to be like really close up to the mirror. But since I can't do that because one, my tripod is blocking the mirror and two, if I get up to the mirror, I'm going to be completely out of frame and you don't want that in a makeup tutorial. So I like to have this so that when I'm doing eyeliner or something that requires being up close, I could literally just do it right here and I won't need to like move in or out um, so I won't be out of frame when I'm filming. Another reason why I like this one is because it actually has three different light settings so I kind of use it as a fill light. Let me just show you. So uh, it has a cool tone light, it has a warm tone, and then it has a neutral tone light. I obviously use the warm tone light because these light bulbs are warm tone so it kind of acts as an extra fill light because this is the my only source of light I like to have this to the side to kind of fill in a lot more shadows and the cool thing about this I use the cool toned um, whenever I'm filming like around over here because those lights over there are cool toned light bulbs and then I use the neutral tone light when I am filming in like natural light. So let me just show you guys real quick. So I also um, film videos. Let me see if I can turn this off. So I also film videos right here. And basically what I do is I just take my chair from my, from my vanity. I just put it like right here. I put my tripod literally right here. It's raining outside, so there's not really much light. It's really cloudy, but usually the light will reflect off the back of that building and reflect back on into my room. So I get a lot of light right here. And what I'll do is I'll bring out like a TV tray and then I'll just put this mirror on top of the TV tray. And obviously I will use the neutral tone light because I'm using um, natural light as my light source. But yeah, if you're interested in this mirror, Vanity Planet was kind enough to give you guys a coupon code. So you can use this code whoosh, right here or check in the description box down below. You can get, I believe it's 60% off of this mirror. So that's really cool if this is something that you are interested in. And then as far as like talking videos, like when I'm just talking to a camera in my room, I just put this tripod in front of my bed and then this is the background. But yeah, I just sit on my bed and then the camera is facing that direction. And then, you know, I have these open and then if I feel like I need a fill light, I'll turn these on. Sometimes I won't even use these. Um, it just makes a slight difference. And then I use a diffuser here because if I don't diffuse the light going up here, it'll just create really harsh light and it'll reflect onto my face. 
and it just won't look good. So that's that situation. And if you were ever wondering how I get that like flat lay kind of angle, I literally use my tripod. So this is the Sunpack 6000 PG. The fluid head right here actually screws off of the top and then there's a screw on the bottom of the main column that you can screw it back on. And literally what I do is I just put my camera right here and then it will film like directly above like this. So that's how I get that angle if you were ever wondering. And then as far as the setup goes, I'm just using my desk. Like this is literally my white desk that I got from Ikea for like 80 bucks, I think. And then I use a piece of like poster board. Like this is a small poster board to kind of reflect the lighting back onto the subject. So for example, like, okay, so let's say I'm filming this, right? If I take away this poster board, it's going to suddenly turn like really dark. But when you add the poster board, it just reflects light from the window. So the natural light from my window just reflects back onto this board and then it fills in all the shadows and things like surrounding the whatever I'm filming. So that is how I do um, that angle if anyone was wondering. Another tip that I have for you guys is if you can find a room that has a window that's facing south, you will get the best lighting. Um, I kind of got lucky because my window is actually facing north, but it's facing the building next to me, and the building next to me is like, has pretty like light paint so the light is just reflecting off of that building back into my room so i got kind of lucky in that regard but if you have a room in your house or in your apartment that faces south because the sun rises in the east and then it moves clockwise to set in the west so you will pretty much get sunlight all day long until the sun sets so just another tip for you guys and then as far as filming equipment goes, I have the Nikon D7000 with a Sigma 50mm 1.4 lens. Um, I have been using this thing literally since I like graduated high school. This has been with me for so long. Um, I actually am trying to sell it, so if you're interested, just let me know. Um, I'll give you a really good price because it's... Um, not very new. This was a really great camera to learn photography and to learn how to film things. The only reason why I don't like using this for filming myself on YouTube videos is because it does not have a um, like a backflip viewfinder so it's really hard to see if I'm in focus. Another thing this doesn't autofocus video so it was really hard to see if I was in focus to like see if I was in frame it, would, it just wasn't very conducive to making YouTube videos, so I still really love this camera. And if it had a backflip like viewfinder, I would probably still continue using it. But this is the camera that I use for pretty much everything. This is the Canon G7X. It's not a DSLR, it's a point and shoot. It's probably one of the best point and shoots on the market, especially for its price point. And it does exactly what I need it to do. It's really, really great for vlogging. I have what's called a Gorillapod. And it's this thing right here, and it makes it so easy to film yourself in camera. On, in camera, what? It makes it so easy to film yourself when you're on the go, is what I was trying to say. But yeah, you could just hold it like this, so I'll like have it screwed on here, and then I'll just like be filming myself. So I also have this one, which was really cheap. I think this was like 12 bucks from Best Buy or something. But the reason why I like this way better than I like like a traditional mini tripod is because you only get straight legs. You can only put it here. You can only put it here. You can't like put it in like crazy places. What I love about this is the legs are so flexible and you could literally like change the level of the camera so easy. You can make it higher like that. The feet on the bottom here are actually magnetic so you could like, you could attach it to like a pole or something and like film yourself that way. But yeah, that is pretty much how I film my YouTube videos. Give this video a thumbs up if this was helpful. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll catch you guys next time. Peace!